the devil worshippers of ancient Kirsted in Mesopotamia, or they call the Yazeti tribe, worship a god called Sut'an or Shaitan, or Taitan or Titan. Later on, these group of Mesopotamian worship was called the Felicians, and they traveled over to Greece and Rome, and they, their names at that particular time was called the Tyranians or the Etruscans or the Eturians, and later on Troy. You hear about the Greek people killed Troy, Trojan horse. That was the last group of black people that started Greece and Rome. They, they, they started the Latin language in Greece, the, the, the Greek language, these advanced languages. How the cracker going to start a language and he couldn't talk from the cave? Then some Indo-Europeans came down, and they taught them the stuff, and just like, just like the Native Americans, they killed them all off. The last battle was when they killed off the people at Troy, was the last people of that land. And they left a vast mythology behind. So, Shaitan, uh, T came Titan, later on become the Titans, which was the black ones that fell. We're going to get into that in a few minutes. Soot in Egypt was in, in Nubia, was Soot Nubit. Or Sutnesi, black and one. Or it was also in Mesopotamia or uh, uh, Samaria, it was called Sutek, and that's where you get the word Melchizedek. Anytime you see the word male on the beginning of a word, it means black. Melanin, they got it from the Greek word black. If you get Robert Graves' book, Greek myths, because the Greek mythology is ancient black mythology. It was, it was called Etruscans before it was Greek. The Etruscans are the black people who, who established Greece and Rome. The language and the mythology was all black. The other Greeks, the white Greeks later on went into Egypt and learned from the, the, the Egyptians. But the early thing, the Iliad and Odyssey of Homer is all black. You see, it's all black. Now, to try to understand this, let me go into something. What actually happened? Now, this is in the... This is in the Egyptian text, it's in the Greek text, it's in the Sumerian text, it's also in the Hebrew text, before the Hebrew cut off half of the text when they became a religion. Before they were a religion, there was a vast, a vast educational system out of Ethiopia. By the time they went into Egypt and came out with Akhenaten, they had lost a lot of their particular information, and because they didn't have the actual mystery school to teach them, they cut off a lot of the stuff. But there's a lot of other creation before it is get down to the regular Judeo-Christian creation. But the religions are all fake. They only tell you part of it. Let's go through the original story on what happened in the cosmos. In the cosmos, you got the great mother. The great mother gives birth to seven stars, the chief star, the number eight star, which was also the first star, was called Sirius. One of the sisters at another level was called Sophia. Lilith in um, a Kamath in Egypt, Lilith, or either a form of, 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 of Maya. Just different mythologies have the different names. Went off and had a child by herself. That child was halfway created. We're talking about energy. This child came to this part of the universe and set up, barricaded himself off to a small portion of the universe. I must, I must validate this stuff for you so you can understand this. First of all, you can get this, uh, uh, parts of that stuff in the, uh, the, the other Bible. The stuff that they call Gnosticism. See? The Book of the Dead, we thought, the Afrocentric people thought, the Book of the Dead was like the main religious book of Egypt. What they didn't realize is the Egyptians or the Camites and the ancient people never had one book. See, these are modern people looking back with modern eyes trying to understand the ancient world. So because they saw the Book of the Dead, all the Afrocentric scholars are saying this is the Egyptian main book. The Egyptians didn't have one damn book. This is just a pyramid text. That's all that shit is. And... This particular book explains the pantheon and a form of the a form of the journey of Heru or Horus, but it doesn't really go into the real theology. That's why that's why you ain't had nobody been able to teach you that shit. This is a ritual book for the priests. And yes, the only person explaining Gerald Massey did, you can get 
part of the mythology in, 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 in his book, the Egyptian Book of the Dead by Gerald Massey, which is also, you can get, he explains it. But my point is the real theology is within is some stuff called Hermeticism, later on named Gnosticism. And what they did is they took the real shit and they translated it into Coptic, and in 1945, they dug it up and it's called Gnosticism, and that's true pharaonic thought. So now we know what the, what the pharaohs said about the universe. 